spotting a fake buyer for your property when you have it for sale it's a lot easier than you think okay let me let me, let me show you what i mean all right um when you put your property for sale odds are you're gonna get a lot of compliments you know from your neighbors from your uncles from your families from your mom or your dad everybody's gonna tell you oh my god your property is great right and and some of them will cross the line i will say i would totally buy your property for eight hundred thousand dollars or I would totally buy your property for half a million dollars. Whatever price you're asking, they'll tell you, hey, you know what? I'll buy it. And this is the key moment. This is the key moment to determine whether you're dealing with a real buyer or a fake buyer. Okay, because odds are, you know, when you hear what you want to hear, right, from people that are complimenting your home and then telling you that the price is great, you know, your first reaction is like, oh my God, you know, this is great. This is awesome. You know, my house, is, you know, but you don't do that especially when you get a verbal offer from somebody that's giving you all the compliments in the world, right? Don't get excited, okay? Th this is the key moment here of how to determine if you're dealing with a real buyer or not. When somebody gives you a verbal offer and they're giving you all the compliments in the world, the first words out of your mouth should be, let's make an, off uh, make an offer in writing. Let's put it, under co let's put it in contract. Put let's put it on paper. That should be the first words out of your mouth, especially when somebody tells you, I would buy your property at your asking price. Okay, let me tell you this, but you asking those questions, that question, put it in writing. Okay, or actually it's not even a question, it's a, it's a statement, right? Put it in writing. That will automatically eliminate 99.9% .9 of all the buyers that are complimenting your home and telling you that they'll give you the money that you're asking for. <laughs> all right? and and. And I say this because, you know, I meet a lot of homeowners, you know, and when, 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 you know, they're trying to sell their homes for one reason or another. And, 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 and they are so enthusiastic about, you know, so many people telling them how great their property is, which is fine. Right. Compliments are great. There's nothing wrong with that. But also, but, but, but I guess where, where it gets tricky or, or, or I guess it, it just doesn't make any sense when they start telling me that, you know what, my neighbor told me that he would buy it for the price that I'm asking, so I must be asking the right price. Or my uncle told me that he would totally buy my property, uh, so I must be having the right price. I must have the right price, right? Okay, well, if these people are telling you that they would buy it, where's the offer? <laughs> where's the offer, right? Where's the contract? So so just be careful out there with, with, with what you pay attention to in terms of what people are telling you, because you know a lot of people are gonna tell you what you wanna hear, a lot of people are gonna give you compliments, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But you just got to be careful how you make decisions because at the end of the day, what really matters in this business is what's in writing. All right. So I hope you find this uh, video useful. Uh, make a comment, message. If you have any questions about you're thinking about selling your property, let me know. I'm here to help. Have a good week. Bye.